Level 90, oh wait, hold up, we get a level 90 pet? We didn't even catch it or anything, it just came level 90 like, Hello there, I am a level 90 pet. As many of you wonderful wizards know, Pumpkin Fest had dropped into Prodigy a few days ago. It is currently the 9th, and as you guys can see, I now have completed stage 4 and gotten myself a Magnum. Right, so basically I'm going to show you the process through which I basically got myself the Curly Horns, the Crow, and the Magnum. And on top of that, show you guys the effects and stuff which these things are capable of doing, right? Right now, let's go on to the next task of getting ourselves this crow. Which honestly looks like it's I it's being possessed, yeah. This possessed looking crow, I'd say. Let's look at it. As you guys can see, after just a few battles, we're at five out of six battles completed in order to catch ourselves the crow. That means we only have to go around and delete. That means we only have to control shift delete one more unfortunate prodigy monster out of our world and we shall be able to get ourselves this lovely crow you know what would happen if they named it raven i don't think there would be much of a difference anyways let's use our ultimate attacker known as mag mischiefs wait no hot snows what mag mischief mag, mag mayhem's hot snow right yeah mag mayhem's hot snow attack wait is hot snow basically like just lava Wait, how would they make snow hot? Because it would melt into water, right? So basically, hot snow is just basically a plasma ball of hydrogen and oxygen, which sounds not so safe. Not safe at all, because like, I don't know about you, but I definitely know that's an exothermic reaction. As you can see with our next strike, the opponent that there stands before us, Mr. Ruckus, shall fall. And with his fall shall come the final battle which we had to finish. A bird often seen as a bad omen in, well, certain cultures. I will, and mostly in all cultures. In certain cultures it could mean you have an unexpected guest or so. And that is why it suits the creepy appearance of Pumpkin Fest, right? You can see we've got ourselves a crow. And if we go to our inventory over here, go to our buddies and scroll to the very bottom, it's this crow. Their voice may not be as pretty as other birds, but crows are very smart and make for great helpers. So yeah, it seems to match the, what do you call it? The theme of Pumpkin Fest, their voice, of course, is not as pretty as other birds, but they are very helpful. Are crows actually helpful? Wouldn't it be parrots because they can deliver messages like... No rewards for you! Or something like that, but nope, crows. I don't know if they're really helpful or not, but okie dokie, artichoke, I guess they're not. For our, well, the next battles which you have to do are gonna be in order to collect ourselves to the next item, which will be known as the newly released pets in Prodigy, aka the Magnetite, Magnum, that's perhaps what it's called. AKA the Magnum. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a single battle in order to collect it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a single battle in order to collect the Magnum. Now unfortunately it seems like Prodigy's only provided Pumpkin Fest as a way to get it. So if you evolve it, you aren't gonna be able to get it again or something like that. Like what's going on here Prodigy? Please do tell us. And over here as you can see we're at 7 out of 8 battles to in order to get this and we just need to do one more. Okay, also in the background, you guys can see the crow is flying, so please be sure to take in its beauty. Wait, does it open its beak while walking or following behind us? Anyways, I really couldn't care more right now. Let's use the fire type spell and burn this porcupine ripoff. And over here, as you can see, Mr. Bernie ripoff fire spirits monster thingy comes and sets the opponent on fire during 4k damage. Alright, as you guys can see, we've cast our spell correctly over here, we deal 4k damage, our opponent has been destroyed, and we shall finally get ourselves that... That additional... One battle which we need to in order to collect this new pet. And I wonder if Podgy will allow us to um, purchase these pets in the shop once we do them, you know? Like, allow us to purchase these pets in the respective festival shops. Like, maybe next year in Lamplight Town, no, in Lamplight Town Pumpkin Fest, what we'll see is they'll add a new pet which we can purchase. 
Or maybe all of these pets will end up being the Starlight Festival shop, which will definitely be a pain. But it seems like we've got ourselves a Magnum right over there. It has gone very well. Now let's check the statistics of these pets. How good is it? Level 9? Oh wait, hold up. We get a level 90 pet? We didn't even catch it or anything. It just came level 90 like... Hello there, I am a level 90 pet. And it seems to evolve at level 27. It looks cute, I'd say. Yeah, it looks cute. And it seems to be an electric type pet. Let's see its information on the side over here. Come on. Let's it be good. To, come on, it has two evolutions. Okay, it turns into a circle. Or it turns into an O on evolution and starts levitating or something like that. And stats. Seriously? That looks like the 20 to 80 hard bonus. I mean... I guess it's viable in the arena because it can withstand a one-shot attack from like a full maxed out lizard wizard doing 9k damage, but it's not that great I'd say. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, definitely. It seems to cast two electric spells. I'd assume it would cast a fire and water spell or maybe or something else. Who knows? But that is basically the rundown of this new pets which we have received from the pet book. As you guys can see, I've collected myself everything. That is to be collected from Pumpkin Fest. And now, basically, the only thing I've left to get is, well, the items which we can obtain from the shop itself. So that will take me some time. And I think it, I, I don't think I might, I don't think I'd have the time for that, to be honest, to collect all the items from the shop. But anyways, if I do, I'll give you guys my progress and tell you which areas I have completely collected. But anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you did, please do make sure to obliterate that subscribe button. Give this video a humongous thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And, and stuff which these things are capable of doing, right? Yeah, so let's start off with our achievements on unlocking the curly horns. Here we go! First of all, let's look at our shop and see if we can buy anything. You know, nothing here. Okay, no, no, nothing. Nope. Nah. Nope. Nothing. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, Daddy, Aphrodite. It seems like we've actually managed to get ourselves on three or four battles which are needed to unlock this. I believe we need four. But yeah, oh yeah, we do need four of these battles. And as you guys can see over here, I'm at three. Yes, you guys can see I'm at three battles needed to unlock these curly horns. So let's go and obliterate this cloud caller. I believe that's what it is. Isn't it a cloud caller? I do believe it's a collar that clouds wear. Yes, it is a cloud collar. Uh, you know, it's quite interesting that clouds wear collars. Uh, what do you call it? Ice type? No, wait, we could have used Articlaw or no, Arcturus. We could have used Arcturus to delete these guys and send them to... Oh. Oh. I clicked the all-out attack? I thought I used an epic attack or something. Like, what? How did these guys get instead deleted? But anyways, as you guys can see, Puck over here has gained some double stars, which is quite nice, if you guys ask me. He has gained some member stars, and as you guys can see over here, let's open that chest, and we still get ourselves nothing... Uh, what do you call it? Nothing too spectacular, although we did get ourselves what I'd assume is a Dumbledore robe, because that's what it's gonna say. Anyways, over here, as you can see, four out of four battles complete, and now we've got ourselves some candy horns and some candy corn. And just like that, we get ourselves candy corn and some candy horns. That is quite nice. Now, without further ado, let's go and look at some of these candy horns, their items, and what they can and can't do, and how good they are. Right, so let's hop to the side. No, oh, okay. Darn it. Darn it. Darn, darn, darn. But no, but no worries. I did escape that battle alive. But no worries. But no worries, everyone. I did escape that battle completely intact. And now what we shall do is we shall open up our inventory and go and see what these horns can do. Because I did collect them. Now let's see what they can do. Curly horns. It says, you will look like a monster when wearing these large and powerful horns. Wizards might try to capture you, so watch out. And I don't think anyone would be enough of a dum-dum to try capturing them unless the demons exist in Prodigy or like... Demi monsters or something like that? I don't know. What would this even be considered as? I don't think anyone can be delusional enough to try to capture this guy. Like, if I see a wizard with horns wearing like these legendary class armor with legendary class boots and a, what do you call it, light ring along with a crow pet. I'm not going anywhere near that dude, okay? Who in their right mind is gonna go near this and be like, you know what, let's try capturing them. Nothing can go wrong. Ah, I'm being attacked by a level 100 spell or something like that, you know? Anyways, it has a 6 heart bonus, meaning this item is also useless. If you want the, for the collectibles, you can, but I'd recommend getting a level 8 item at minimum. I mean, look at this. 
Sure, you can get it for free compared to some of the other items given to you by the arena, but there are a lot of other stuff that you can just get easily. Like, even the hero mask you can get without having to do anything. You just have to do some arena battles. That's really it.